In the United States, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reports that over 24 million people have asthma. The agency also reports that tragically, about nine people die from asthma each day. So what happens during an asthma attack? According to the CDC, an asthma attack may include coughing, chest tightness, wheezing, and trouble breathing. The attack happens in the body's airways, which are the paths that carry air to the lungs. As the air moves through the lungs, the airways become smaller. During an asthma attack, the sides of the airways in the lungs swell and airways shrink. Less air gets in and out of the lungs, and mucus that the body makes clogs up the airways even more. So, how can someone determine if they or a family member has asthma? The CDC states that it can be hard to tell if someone has asthma, especially in children under the age of 5. Having a doctor check how well a person's lungs work and checking for allergies is an important step. The doctor will ask if a person coughs a lot, especially at night. He or she will inquire whether any breathing problems are worse after physical activity or at certain times of the year. The doctor will ask about chest tightness, wheezing, and colds lasting more than 10 days. Questions about whether anyone in the family has or has had asthma, allergies, or other breathing problems are typically asked. Finally, the doctor will ask questions about the person's home and if they have missed school or work or have trouble doing certain things. The doctor will also likely do a breathing test, called spirometry, to find out how well a person's lungs are working. For those diagnosed with asthma, avoiding asthma triggers that can cause an attack is important for managing the condition. Some of the common triggers listed by the CDC include tobacco smoke, dust mites, outdoor air pollution, cockroach allergen, animal dander, mold, pollen, smoke from burning wood or grass, and breathing various chemicals. Indoor environmental tests are available to identify these and other known asthma triggers. These are just a few things to know about what happens during an asthma attack. To learn more about environmental asthma triggers or other air quality, environmental, occupational, health, or safety issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.